I spent just under $150. It was $148 for all this stuff. Hey guys, it is Friday, March 12th. I have 14 eBay orders to ship out. And after that, I'm heading across town to pick up some auction winnings that I got last night. Let's get to work. First couple things going out, I pulled from my storage unit. This is a Nike VR driver. I picked this up a few weeks ago uh, with some other golf clubs. You guys saw me sell the irons a few days ago. This driver sold for $34.99 plus shipping. This right here is a Jim Tomey jersey I bought maybe a month ago. There was like a big box of old jerseys I got from an auction and I've already sold off two of them. I listed this one for like 50 or best offer and I set it an offer of $38 and the uh, the watcher countered with $20 saying like, hey, cause it's got a couple stains, not sure I can pay much more than that. I'm like, you know what, that's fine. So it sold for $20 plus shipping. And the watcher on that jersey that bought it was a view named Jeff. Jeff says, thanks, John. Huge baseball fan, especially a big Sox fan. If you need any old Cincinnati Red stuff, let me know. Have a good day. Jeff, thanks so much for the support. And I'm curious, if you're a White Sox fan, what you think of the Tony La Russa hire? All right, one more other thing I want to show you guys. I got this sticker in the mail. You guys have seen I've started putting stickers of YouTube channels on my workbench here just to add a little bit of flair to it. This is from the Thrift Mind channel, Ryan and Pam, one of my favorite channels. Those guys are awesome. If you haven't seen their channel, I'll put a link down below in the description if you want to check it out. And we are going to put their sticker right there. If you guys have a YouTube channel and you've got a sticker you want to send out to me for my workbench, my P.O. box is down below in the description. Okay, next thing I'm shipping out is some labels. Uh, these right here, these are... Avery shipping labels, new in the packaging. Something I got in a book buy a few weeks ago, so I maybe got five bucks into them. That sold for $24.99 free shipping. Next thing is a belt buckle in C32. Let's see. Somewhere back in here. I believe this is it. This is from Bergamo Brass Works from 1984. It's got a raccoon and some hunting dogs and a tree and everything. Really cool design, but... The actual clip on the back is broken off, so I put please read in the title and then I outlined the damage in the description. This is part of the sale that I'm running, um, so with the discount it sold for $12.74, free shipping. Next thing is a hat. Let's see, I think it is that one? No, not that one. It's a Ford hat. It's an old inventory code, but I believe this is it right here. Ford Hagen Wimberly, yep. It's a snapback, has a cool look to it. I've only got a dollar into it. Um, I've had it for quite some time. It's also part of the sale I'm running. It sold for $6.49 plus shipping. Next thing is a DVD, kind of a rare one. Let's see here. It is Hansel and Gretel. Not sure why this is popular, but it has a little bit of value to it. That sold for $18.99 for shipping. I sold an ergonomic keyboard way up here. Microsoft 4000 model. This was also part of a book buy, maybe got $10, $15 into it. If you guys come across these ergonomics, pick them up. Most of them sell for really good money, and you can usually get keyboards for pretty cheap. This one right here sold for $49.99 plus shipping. Next thing I'm shipping out is a lot of Hallmark ornaments. Uh, I think it's way up here. I got a bunch of ornaments from Kevin the Tennessee Picker. Gosh, it's been like four or five months ago, and I've sold off pretty much all of them. This might be the last lot that I have left. There's 10 of them total. They sold for $14.99 plus shipping. Those are going out to a viewer named Blake. He says, hello from Alabama. Me and my son love the YouTube channel. My son practices reading numbers as dollar and cents when you show your sold items. So it's a double win for us. That is so cool. If at all possible, could I get a few stickers for us? And if you could shout out my eBay store, The Wandering Moose, under eBay username Blake.Tippet. Blake, thank you so much for the business. I'll gladly throw in some stickers for you. Okay, next order has three items. It is three different lots of cards all going to the same buyer. Two of them are right here in C4. It is these two right here. There's a lot of patch cards and then there's a lot of autograph cards. And then the other one is over here in A3. Let's see. I believe it's these. Let's see. We've got one lot has patch cards and autographs i think or no wait it's two lots of autographs so here's a lot of autographs there's a lot of autographs and then there's a lot of patches i did an auction with these at a dollar each and they all sold for the same price each one sold for 26 dollars so the three of them sold for 78 dollars plus shipping 
all go into the same buyer. And I just noticed that I grabbed the wrong ones. These are still um, up for auction currently. This is the one that he got. Next thing is over here on D4. It's this box right here. These are Blu-ray kids movies. They're primarily Disney, but I think there's some DreamWorks and some other ones in here. But yeah, there's some good titles. Toy Story, Rio, Monsters University. There's a total of 12 of them. They're sold for $34.99 plus shipping. Next is a cassette tape in E42. Let's see. Right here. Guns and Roses, Appetite for Destruction. Really classic album. That's sold for $12.99, free shipping. Next is something I got an offer on. It's these thermal masks. I have 20 or so of these. I got a bunch of them from my guy Mike. And I had them listed for around like $10 plus shipping, I think, for each one. And somebody sent me an offer of five dollars each for a total of four dollars and i accepted so these four sold for twenty dollars plus shipping okay last order has two items first is down in a5 right here this is a vintage basketball game one of those where you like punch down the numbers and it like shoots the ball up i thought that was pretty cool and next thing is an e32 right here this is a big lot of Crown Royal bags. Your name, Dustin, reached out and offered um, $15 plus shipping for each of these, and I accepted. Dustin, thank you so much for the support. I really appreciate it. Orders are packed up. Let's go get those auction winnings. All right, guys, I'm back at the warehouse. My neighbors are making a bunch of noise, like always, so I apologize if you can't hear me that well, but I'll try to talk loud over all that noise. I recorded at the place where I went to get this stuff, um, but they had a sign that said no recording on premises. So right off the bat, when I saw that, I stopped my camera and just put it in my backpack. So I'm not gonna show any of that footage, but I will show you what I bought. I spent, uh, with fees and tax and all that stuff, like buyer's premium, I spent just under $150. It was $148 for all this stuff. It is a big lot of paper ephemera. Um, I know some of you guys deal with this stuff. I haven't bought any in a while, but I really like selling paper ephemera. I love history myself, so just going through this stuff is really cool. But there's also some good value in it. This right here is an old like program or brochure for the Cincinnati Zoo. And there's not a copyright date for it, but just from the printing and everything, I can tell it is really old. This piece specifically, I paid up for. I paid about $40 for this. But to the right buyer, I think it could be $100 or more. I couldn't find any kind of comps whatsoever, but it's definitely an old piece. Got a book of war rations from World War II. These aren't super valuable, but again, just really neat. Let me pull these out here and show you guys. So here's some of the stamps that people would have to use to get food and different things during the war. I don't see um, years on these, but I'm sure it was, you know, 43, 44, something like that. There's a stamp on this one. I got a total of, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six of those with the little holder. I got some old photos. Um, I saw Marilyn Monroe in here. I doubt that it's an original photo. It's probably some kind of print. Yeah, you can tell that's definitely some kind of print, but it has a nice gloss to it. I thought that was really neat. And then in that same lot, we've got some other celebrity photos. That one's signed. This has got a uh, stamp signature, Roy Rogers and Trigger. Let's see, that's Dean Martin up top, but I don't know, Jerry Lewis maybe? It's got a signature on his tie, but I'm not sure who that is. Uh, Perry Como, Ramon Navarro, not sure who that is, and Liberace, those are pretty neat. There's a lot of tobacco advertising stuff. Let's see if I can wiggle this out of here. So we've got a Legia Perfecto cigar ad. Cigar makers out of Cincinnati. Oh wait, that's a that's a bag. That's interesting. So I wonder if they would put the cigars in there. And then we've got Florida Franklin cigars. Judge Day, ten cents. King Albert cost you a nickel. <laughs> That's cool. Here's just like a little frayed piece of something. Some of these I think are like labels that were on top of cigar boxes maybe. That's what it looks like to me anyways. A.B. Smith & Companies. That's got some cool graphics. I do not know much about 
tobacco and cigar advertising, but the price was right for this stuff, so I went ahead and picked it up. By far the best lot of the whole bunch is right here. I had to pay up for this lot. I think I paid about $70, uh, but I think there's maybe 25 or 30 pieces, so really my price per piece is not too bad. This is a big lot of old brewery and distilling ephemera. So we've got like some old letters. I think there's some checks in here. And this is all like pre-prohibition stuff. Like, so this is dated 1904. This is dated 1918. And reply to your favor of the third, we have ready for delivery 89 cases of your whiskey. We've had a good deal of difficulty in getting bottling stamps from the revenue office. And then right there it is signed by McConey, Maloney, whoever that is. And then there's, I mean, each one of these, there's something on the other side of it. See, so yeah, this one's dated 1915. Ordering five barrels of owl whiskey, one barrel of alcohol. Here's one from 1917. So we're getting a little bit closer to prohibition. Here's Ullman and Company whiskeys, 4th Street, Cincinnati, Ohio, 1906. Looks like this is from the attorney um, let us know if you've obtained judgment against this party. That's interesting. Here's an old ad. $120 worth of fine bottled liquors for free. We sell you $100 worth of liquors at regular prices and you give, and give you free of charge 129 bottles, which will sell for $120. Here's some old envelopes from the distilling company. Let's see, this is Litman and Company. Distillers, whiskey dealers, 1906. The letterhead on these is just so cool. We got another one from 1906, the Sinton Distilling Company. In order to avoid avoid the enforcement of penalties and seizures, we now pay you $500. <laughs> we got some receipts in here. Here's another really cool letterhead that shows the factory. That's awesome. Eagle Liquor Distilleries, Rhinestrom Brothers, 1907. According to our records, they're still due you uh, 13 cases. Maraschino cherries to be delivered during May. Maraschino cherries. Some more letters. This is from 1900. Bluthenthal and Bickert. Another from 1904. We enclose for collection without protest. $25. Rosenthal and Sons Distillers. This receipt's got a really cool embossed logo up here at the top. That's cool. Ferdinand Westheimer and Sons. They've got all their buildings and factories up here. About three months ago, you kindly favored us with a report on regular Wilbur Blank on Mr. Clarence Terrell Saloon, your city. I can tell these are all original too, just by the paper stock. Like none of these are photocopies. Wow, this one's from 1897. Dear sir, we are rather surprised that we did not receive remittance from you in lieu of our claim against Mrs. Tuhi. Sounds like there was a lot of drunks back in the day that weren't <laughs> paying their bills. Another one from 1897. Mill Creek Distilling. Oh, wow. Look at that handwriting, that is so cool. Here's a few checks. One from 1890 for $148.41. That was a lot of money back in the day. And then one from 1891 for $2304. And then on the back, we got Red Top Rye. I know they did beer too. Arthur Gore. Yeah, really cool stuff. It might take me a while to sell those, maybe a year or more, I don't know, but I've enjoyed looking through them and I'll enjoy hanging on to them until they sell. And I think there'll be a little bit of money to be made. That is it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.